Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Cockles and Muscles. This is an old one based on, or it's actually, it's a, it's a older tangle that is a tangulation of, uh, of a Zentangle original tangle, uh, and Zeppel. Um, but this is by CZT Margaret Bremner. So we start off essentially with, um, and Zeppel, and I'm going to put a little border in here. Be uh, am I? Yeah. Well, yes. Okay. I'm not gonna, <laughs> yes, I'm not gonna, <laughs> yes, we have no bananas. <laughs> I'm going to do my squiggly border. Oh my gosh. All right. And this one starts off kind of, uh, it was before we started calling things crazy this and crazy that. Um, the grid or the reticula is, is going to be a little on the crazy side. So however you want it to go, actually, I'm going to try this. Oh, look at, I made a Z. I, I wasn't even thinking of what I was doing, which is always a good thing. All right, I'm. I always have to uh, take breaths. <laughs> oh, this random stuff, you know. Oh, let's see. We need to have. Oh, you don't want to make too small of divisions, but you know you can with this. Oh, that's it needs to have something right here though. Okay. All right, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's that's the thing to remember. It doesn't matter. You can just do these crazy lines and it's all okay. All right. Now, and if I, I will do my very best to remember to do this, uh, and that would be to put a link to and Zeppel. I think, I think that might have been, I know that that was the one that got me started doing a daily, daily tangle or just like the notion of doing a quickie. Um, because I was, I needed to explain it to somebody that was having a challenge and I was like, Oh, Hey, that's kind of a good idea. And then I think it was a little bit later than I started doing a daily one. Anyway, just a little fun fact. <laughs> All right. So here's, I mean, I'm going to show you how we do on Zeppel because that's what we're going to do here. All right. And Zeppel, oh, you have to pretend that you're a bubble like a soap bubble and you're fitting into these weird spaces. But what we're going to do, cause I have seen people do this, um, uh, really incorrectly where they would just put, Oh, I'm just going to round this and I'm going to round that. And no, 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 that's not how we do it. Yes. We're rounding it, but we're tracing over all of the lines and that one I should have curved. I'm going to go with the, whatever I have here on the border. Okay. Like that. And let me get in here. Oh, am I or am I not? Because that's weird. Maybe I am not. I'm going to decide as I go. <laughs> that one feels like it needs a different division in there, but we're not going to worry about it. So let's do here. I do like to make uh, things complicated for myself here. All right, let me, I want to get this so that way you can, I, I'm not, I'm looking at what I'm doing and not the pen tip on the screen to make sure that it's visible. But you see, I'm just, you know, you're essentially, like I said, rounding it in. Uh, but one way it was, I think it was described, but I don't think I came up with this on my own. Um, but if you picture, you know, a bubble in a grid, like, you know, like in the summertime when we, you know, do bubbles and it can only go so far into a corner. So if you imagine that as you're drawing, it's like, okay, how, how is that gonna, you know, fit in you know, kind of tight, but, but you know, you, you see how it is. And of course, you know, you do whatever ends up working, but what's neat about this one is the pattern that kind of happens in, well, as I get it done, and in these ones, I'm just pretending like, I, like I'm going outside of the, um, I'm going under the border. Let me at least get one thing here where they're kind of like all connected, you know, like this. And so it's neat where you have the different, uh, contrast, the, the density, you know, of ink here to here. And that's why it's important to trace over those lines because you don't get that otherwise. 
And it's just, a, it's a really, really neat effect to have. And just, it's also a neat tangle period that you can lose yourself in. I mean, it, it for sure isn't any right or wrong. Now you can do this in like a, a regular grid. I just reminding myself, I was going to redo my step out because I made the grid so small and we were doing it for something. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? <laughs> Well, I like to do things small and I like to, you know, you know, like that, but it wasn't, you know, it's not necessarily great for a step out. So anyway, so if I, if you'll, you'll see what I mean, if I get that in there posted. Okay. Did I get them all? Yes, I did. So that again, in a nutshell is Enzeppel. Now in uh, cockles and muscles, what we're going to do is we're going to fill in all of the gaps. Normally in Enzeppel, I mean, it's up to you, of course, but normally we don't. So in this one, we will. And really, as we're doing it, it's like, this, it's really a, just a neat way of decorating uh, Enzeppel. But um, do take a look at the For More Inspiration link. Um, I've never met Margaret and, you know, it would be really nice if sometime, sometime I get a chance to, because I, I, I feel like her humor, uh, it just fits right into, you know, like I think that we would get along quite well because her humor and my humor seem to match up. And I love what she does with uh, some of the tangles and just creating these really neat uh, tangulations on um, the Zentangle original tangles. I think my favorite though is, uh, and we do have a video on it. Uh, if you've done the Tangle Cubine, it's uh, called, uh, oh, I think I might have just shortened it to Drunk Cubine, but she called it Go Home Cubine, You're Drunk. And it's just like in the spirit of this, where, you know, the lines are just wonky, it's crazy, and um, just a lot of fun. So creative. So creative. All right. And, you know, while I could switch to the graphic one, some of these are just tight enough that I don't really want to. And then sometimes, too, because I know when, we, when my mom and I went, went to the training, that's all. I don't, I don't know if they didn't have the graf, graphic one at that point, if the career didn't have that. Or, or no, no, no. I think they did. Because there, there was a bigger project that we used for filling in. But, you know, even before that, we would fill in with this O one. And it does, it works. It works just fine. It just takes a little bit longer. And you can kind of look at it as, um, you know, it's very zenny. It's kind of, it makes me think of, um, you see the, is it the Zen garden? You know, where they, you know, they're using the, the rake and the sand and all of that kind of thing. So it's just nice to not, not feel like we're rushing through. But then, you know, we all work differently. We all have our different things and, if uh, you get impatient filling stuff in, we don't want you to get impatient. So use the graphic one. <laughs> That's why mom doesn't like Knightsbridge. Because we were filling it in with... <laughs> it was just like, oh, just a little bit too much on the, on the tedious side for her. Okay, now here is the extra interesting thing. So... And, and, and again, take a look because Margaret has some descriptions. I did not put it in my version of the step out. I just put the, the well, actually she said cockles, muscles, cockles and muscles, and then in parentheses and clams. And uh, she has a little description underneath and then some nice pictures also, especially if you're not, you know, a seafood person or, you know. If, or a shell person and you don't know there are differences and and so she's sharing that so we'll st so but in your however you want to do it you get to pick and I put you play your way it's up to you so here's how she has uh, uh, cockles and so she describes it as you know so you're finding a triangular one and so we'll pick this one right here and I'm gonna start in the center because I like to and just lines radiating out from a single point. I could be paraphrasing. I don't know. Probably am. So that's one. Then she has the muscles. 
And this one is, again, it's kind of a triangular, or at least it's a longer, um, apparently here, let's, I'm, I'm getting them all stuck right in here. Well, well, let's just do this one and then we'll mix it up. And so this one, it looks to me like we're doing curve lines, like see, see, blah, hard to say. It's like seashells, see, no, how does that go? She sells seashells by the yeah say that once yeah it's hard enough not let alone five times fast it looks like the c-shaped curve lines are more rounded like this so more of a c-shape and then as she put in and i'm gonna just fill this in a little bit more here oh, just to cover up my uh oh wait yeah because we have all of this great filling in you can play as you wish. Um, and then she has, oh yeah, the clams. And that that just seems like it, it's one like, uh, oh, let's pick. Oh, this one right here. And it's, you know, maybe flatter. And oh, I've got a little string or something on my, oh, here we go. <laughs> on the tip of my pen. Can't have that. Sometimes you pick up fibers from the from the paper. Which one was I gonna do? Oh well, you know what? I changed my mind. <laughs> Let's do this one. These ones seem to be, you know, like more uh, of a flat C-shaped curve line. So you look, you play, but you could do a, you could do all one style, co combine them, whatever. If you have some shapes that are like, yeah, that well, like some that might be too small. Uh, she mentioned something about, you know, leaving them because then they can be like sand and it's up to you. She also mentioned, you know, if you have one that's too big. So like, for instance, like this one, of course, I'm, she said you could just divide it. <laughs> it's kind of like, well, you know, like uh, when we do, um, if you, well, if you've not, uh, well, whether you have taken it or not, in the Zentangle Essentials class that we talk about, uh, the string and the border, the pencil lines are all optional. It's up to you. Oh, let's do this from here. And, uh, you know, so you could go over them or you can stay within them. It's completely up to you. So that's kind of like this. <laughs> if you don't... <laughs> If, if you have a section that's too big or too odd shaped, then you can make your own division and it's all fine. So I wanted to at least explain these different uh, shapes that she has. But again, go take a look because it's just so interesting. And then you can, like I said, I, I'm kind of liking mixing them up because that's just kind of fun. And then, you know, maybe leaving some of them blank. Although this one, ooh, if I could make, just make a diagonal, it would make it a little thin one and then so you do that right and then do the rounding so then because I, and I went back because I looked away as I was talking and I'm like wait where was that that I just did that again and I mean for sure somebody just looking at it isn't gonna know but you, you might forget as well oh let's do some of the uh cockles here we'll have it go in both directions and I don't right. It's one of those. You don't have to start in the middle. I like to, but it seems like I'm going all off. It doesn't matter. Okay. Ooh, I can make this one just really big, like as if it's, yeah, going outside this way, like it's ginormous. Now, as far as shading goes, as I'm doing this. Depending on your the sizes of things that you have, you could um, either you know do the whole thing, you know like the, the perimeter. So like I could just bring this bring the shading in and not shave the individual components, or you could shade some of the individual components and um, well you could do both actually, or you could do none. <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> you know, and then too, uh, kind of mixing up the uh, the direction. It's just, it is just a lot of fun. 
All right. I feel like I need to do one over here. And I'm feeling also, okay, let's pretend like this is a big triangle. And you know what? I mean, she, she put that down there, but does it, do you have to do it in, in a triangular shape one? No. Like I could take this one, do the same thing. Just start at a point and then bring the lines out. It's all good. And actually this one, cause I did divide that. Did I not? Yes, I did. Let's make that. Where's that line? It's a little bit thicker in between so you can actually see it. Otherwise it just kind of looks weird. There we go. Anyway, super neat. Super, super neat. All right. So as I mentioned, you could, oh gosh, you know, with some of these, because they all have their little individual shape, right? So could put some graphite on the sides. We'll just try these. And with this, because you have so much ink on the paper, just be careful as you're using your tortillon not to go real hard because you might end up picking up you know, some of the paper. Oh, look at how, look at what that just did. And I didn't go real dark. It just totally rounded those two. Whoa. I love it. And then, oh, you know, all of these, you know, really, honestly, you could do the same thing. Just going on either side. And then the plain ones, you could, <laughs> I'm just going to put a little sort of a C shape in those so that they look like, like river rocks or something, or they're, or they're stones or something. Cause it just makes for kind of a neat combination to have a bunch of different things in there. That's my thought today. <laughs> Tomorrow, who knows? It could be something completely different. And some of these smaller ones, you, you know, you might not have to worry about adding some shading. Could, you know, on these, you fill some in gray, just, you know, with, with the graphite, like, you know, up to you. <laughs> I wasn't looking at what I was grabbing. I meant to grab the tortillon. <laughs> oh, and let's just a little something. Oh, and then this one, this poor little guy is all, all alone there, all naked. <laughs> ah, look at that. Just added some depth. So if this wasn't so small, like if I brought it, well, I'm, I'm just going to have it, we'll come, have it come out. I'm going to go a little heavier. I probably don't need to, um, cause you could have it go in and then it kind of gives it uh, what we like to, well, what I like to call like a shadow box effect. And a lot of times, you know, in traditional, you know, the methods untangle, you know, we, you don't have to worry about that, that borderline or anything. It just, you know, it just, it's just part of the pattern, but it is kind of fun at the same time. And it just depends on, on, on my mood, I suppose, to do like that. Ooh, and you could. You could just do two sides, I, but I'm not going to, I think it looks neat this way. I love doing this. And that's why part of why I like doing the curve, uh, a little bit curvy border. Um, because to me, it's like a surprise. It's like we have revealed something, you know, we've torn something off. I, when I do the, my essentials class, I talk about wallpaper and I said in my mind, it's like we're stripping away layers and layers of wallpaper and we see these really cool patterns underneath. And uh, so that's why I like to kind of do it that way. It's just really cool in my mind anyway. And that's what matters. <laughs> All right. If you have enjoyed this and I hope you have would love it. If you click on the like button and I just want to darken some of these cause it's starting to just look a little gray. Um, I want a little bit more drama in there. Oh, look at I left this one over here too. Whoever was yelling, thank you. I know that there had to be at least one person. Um, yeah, but if you, if you liked it enough to see more, I uh, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. So while you're clicking, just click that too. Um, I mentioned the description section where you will find the step outs 
Um, also, ways to connect with me. So below the step out links, you will find my link tree link. And there are uh, links to my website, Facebook group if you happen to be there. And if you are there and would love to hang out with a bunch of other tanglers, we have a wonderful Facebook community and would love to have you join us. There are four questions that you must answer to gain entry, just to let you know. Um, and it's just, it's just a lot of fun. We, uh, I, oh, everybody in that group is just, that, you know, especially, I mean, the ones that participate, there's a lot in the group, but there's, you know, there's a nice, uh, a nice group that, uh, are pretty regular with posting and commenting and stuff like that. And it's just so nice because everybody is so supportive of one another. I don't actually, I don't, I don't know that I've experienced necessarily, uh, a group that isn't, but you know, I, I've heard stories. <laughs> so, but here we, you know, most everybody seems to really get Zentangle and understand that it's not about the, you know, the end result as much as it is about, um, the process. Uh, it's your, it's your journey. And, you know, and we just like to, you know, celebrate, you know, whatever your journey is. And when you have a win, let's celebrate. We love that. All right. I also teach classes uh, and have sessions, by the way, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, my time in Michigan, I do them at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. Again, my time, Eastern time. Uh, and I say that because we have the people from all over the globe. And in some cases, it's the next day. So that's why I'm saying that. All right. Um, and I do have a lot of them that are free. Thursdays are, are, it's called Tangle Time. And we might take a tangle like this and just play with it. And, you know, maybe two tangles. If that, it, it, and it, it's just an hour and it's free and it's a lot of fun. So, um, come and join us sometime. And then the other ones, there's one on Tuesday, actually this Tuesday coming up is a free one, uh, called tough tangle Tuesday. I still have to pick, pick I still have to pick what I'm going to torture everybody with. Um, <laughs> so we have a lot of fun. It's just a little bit more difficult tangles in, in, you know, there's many ways that a tangle could be a little bit more difficult. And so, uh, we just do that on a monthly basis and, and, uh, I try to just stick to just one because, you know, we don't want to hurt our brains too much. <laughs> oh, but it's a lot of fun. And then I have some other ones that are paid, but you'll see that on my, on my website. Um, and like I said, yeah, the other social media, other, you know, uh, there's some other ways, uh, to follow me, uh, for classes and, and postings and things like that. And, um, and yeah, so that's great. Thank you again so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.